The Danatronics EHC-09 has two modes of calibration, the manual two-step and the new AutoCal. Let's go over the procedures for each. First, we turn on the gauge by pressing the F1 button. Now it's asking us to choose which transducer we will be using. For this exercise, we will use the DK718. We are also using a carbon steel five step block, 100 thousandths at this end, 500 thousandths at this end. To choose the transducer, we highlight it and press OK. It's asking us to wipe off the couplant. Then it will perform the auto zero calculation. Now that that's complete, we will do our calibration. We press the menu button with the up or down arrow key. We highlight calibration and we hit OK. Now we follow the directions on the bottom of the screen located here. We couple thin on the 100,000 side of the block. Then we press zero under the F2 button. Using the up or down arrow keys, we adjust to come to 100 thousandths. Then we press the cal or F1 button. Next is asking us to couple thick, then press velocity, the F3 button. Now the up or down arrow key to 500 thousandths, then we press OK. And if you'll notice at the top of the screen, it will calculate the velocity located here. And now we are calibrated. To perform the auto calibration function, we press the menu, slide down to initial settings, slide to cal type, and with your left or right arrow button, change it to auto cal. You will notice the two readings, 100 thousandths and 500 thousandths, correspond to the block we are using. We go back, highlight calibration. As you see, it has changed to auto. We hit OK. Now it asks us to couple to the 100 thousandth side of the block. The gauge beeps. Now it's asking me to couple to the 500 thousandth side of the block. Once this is completed, you will notice at the top, it calculates the velocity. And now we are calibrated. If you have any other questions, please contact us at danatronics.com or you can email us at sales at danatronics.com.